Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. Right here we've got the just super fun Rossignol Black Ops Holy Shred. Um, in its previous life, this ski was known as the Black Ops 98. Basically one of the skis that kind of helped start this Black Ops line. It started with the 118, then we got this ski. Now we have a whole line of Black Ops skis with the Sender and Sender TI. Um, and this ski is now called the Holy Shred. So one of two twin tips in the Black Ops collection, more free ride, more freestyle influence in this ski, um, and more of a, a twin tip, slightly more symmetrical shape than skis like the Sender and the Sender TI. Um, let's kind of talk about construction and then we'll take a closer look at shape. So we got a poplar wood core in this ski. We get damp tech, so we get some rubber up here in the tip of the ski. We get Diago fiber as a way to increase torsional stiffness, and then we get a little bit of metal too. We get Titanal beam. Um, all of those things add up to a ski that's pretty powerful. Uh, I will go ahead and just say that, like personally, this is one of my favorite skis that we've tested over the past few years. I personally really like when a company can combine a twin tip shape with a pretty strong, powerful feel. And with that construction, you do get a lot of vibration damping and a good amount of power. Um, now the shape is important because if they were to build it like that and not give it a playful shape, it'd be a pretty demanding kind of one dimensional ski. But with this, you get a good amount of both tip and tail rocker to go along with the twin tip shape. So tip rocker starts right about here where my hand is. Tail rocker is not quite as long, but pretty darn close. So you get camber underfoot, as I'm sure you'd expect, but having that tip and tail rocker is important. Um, otherwise, like I said, this ski would feel a little bit too locked in, a little bit too one dimensional. Um, on the other side, because they built it this way, it is multi-dimensional. There's a lot of different things you can do on this ski. Um, it continually impresses me in how many different things it can do. Um, on a groomer, it's one of the strongest twin tips you'll ski. Very, very, very damp, smooth feel. It feels glued to the snow. Um, I can't really think of a better twin tip when it comes to vibration damping. There are definitely some other contenders in that conversation, Enforcer 104, or other skis with metal, um, but this ski is exceptionally smooth, which, which I think is really, really cool. Um, good edge grip on a groomer. It's actually got quite a lot of power uh, from that poplar wood core and all the additives that they throw in there. Um, but then, Take it into the trees, take it into the moguls, and you start to benefit from easier edge release back here in the tail of the ski, um, easier turn initiation from the little bit of tip rocker we get here. It's never a catchy ski. You know, there's not really tremendous early taper in this ski, but the way that they kind of smooth out the tips and tails through the ends of the ski, give it a nice smooth feel when you're kind of slipping and smearing turns. So very well-rounded twin tip. Um, you know, you could also ski park on this thing. That's something that comes up a lot in questions and comments about this ski is, is it good in the park? It's certainly not bad, um, not really a dedicated park ski. If you're spending most of your time in the terrain park, there might be better options for you. But if you're the type of skier that maybe you're spending 20 to 40 percent of your time or something like that you're spending a little bit of time in the terrain park but the most of your time around the rest of the mountain i think it's perfectly reasonable for a skier like that um, it's just a little heavy as a true park ski um, but yeah still perfectly capable you can still do tricks on it and go off jumps and slide rails if you want to do that um, so very very well-rounded ski a lot of fun um, probably the only thing that I don't think it's particularly good at is touring just because of the weight that comes along with it. Uh, not to say that you couldn't do that, but I do think Rosignol has more appropriate skis for, for alpine touring. Um, that's the Holy Shred, Black Ops Holy Shred from Rosignol. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we will see you out there on the slopes.